Now, whilst there's no doubt that random mutation does alter DNA, evolution is anything but random. It can't be, because the chances of something with DNA as complex as this, appearing by luck alone, are vanishingly small. Imagine you just changed one position in the code at random, a random mutation. There are four letters, A, T, C and G, so there are four possible combinations. If there are two places in the code, there are four combinations for each one, so that makes 16. If there are three, then there are 64 possibilities. By the time you get to a code with 150 letters in it, then there are more possible combinations in the code than there are atoms in the observable universe. Now, a hippo has a code with around three billion different letters. So the number of combinations of those letters, the chances of producing that code at random are absolutely infinitesimally small. It's impossible. So there must be a non-random element to evolution, a natural process which greatly restricts this universe of possibilities and shapes the outcome. We call it natural selection. The eye is a tremendously complex piece of machinery built from lots of interdependent parts. And it seems very difficult to imagine how that could have evolved in a series of small steps. But actually, we understand that process very well indeed. I can show you by building an eye. The first step in building an eye would be to take some kind of light sensitive pigment, so rhodopsin for example, and build it onto a membrane. So imagine this is such a membrane with the pigment cells attached, then immediately you have something that can detect the difference between dark and light. Now the advantage of this arrangement is that it's very sensitive to light. There's no paraphernalia in front of the retina to block light. But the disadvantage, as you can see, is that there's no image formed at all. It just allows you to tell the difference between light and dark. But you can improve that a lot by adding an aperture, a small hole in front of the retina. So this is a movable aperture just like the sort of thing you've got in your camera. And now, you see that the image gets sharper. But the problem is that in order to make it sharper, you have to narrow down the aperture, and that means that you get less and less light, so this eye becomes less and less sensitive. So there's one more improvement that nature made, which is to replace the pinhole, the simple aperture, with a lens. <laughs> Look at that. A beautifully sharp image. The lens is the crowning glory of the evolution of the eye. By bending light onto the retina, it allows the aperture to be opened letting more light into the eye, and a bright, detailed image is formed. As precise as Einstein's theories of relativity and as profound as thermodynamics, Darwin has given us another universal law. evolution by natural selection.